another exciting day today. I'm doing another grading of these silver perch. You can see I've got a couple of eel tail catfish in there. I've been looking after these fish for someone else and um, they've just not been ready wanting the system. There have been a few personal issues on their front so I've been looking after them in my 600 odd litre tank and they've been really happy. But what I've been slowly doing is taking them out into my aquaponics system. So I've been sorting out the bigger fish from the smaller fish. So you can see these were all um, delivered in the bag when they were about two centimetres and that was 12 months ago. And they're all different sizes now. And that, that, that's the same as humans. We all grow at different sizes in different ways. So what I've been doing is to have my aquaponic system running nice and well. I've been taking the bigger fish out and leaving the smaller ones in there. Now I'm at the point in my aquaponic system that it can quite comfortably handle all of these fish because they're not at the large size yet. They're just larger. So I'm going to go through and sort out the really small ones and keep those little babies in here and all of the bigger ones that I'm going to be basing it probably on about 10 centimeters um, and yeah I'm literally going to go through and grade them and I'm going to take all of the wood out of the tank all of the rocks out everything out because it's been very wet trying to catch them because they, they kick a lot so um, we'll be going through and yeah taking them all out. I've got different containers for the different sizes and lots of aeration so it's it's exciting. It's, you know there's going to be a lot more out in the aquaponic system and um, less in here which is kind of good because I'm really wanting to put this is my community tank and at the moment it's well it's a community of silver perch and two eel tail catfish. It's not got the fish in it that I would like to have in it. Uh, they're, they're over there. <laughs> um, and waiting patiently to get their tank back. So there's a couple of huge ones in there because I've missed them because they've been hiding in the rocks. So today I'm not just taking 10 fish out, I'm, I'm actually going to go through and, and do a good a good uh, grading. And so the small ones will stay in here and the bigger ones will go out into the aquaponic system. And I'm really hoping that next week uh, the other people who I'm looking after these fish for, I'm hoping that they'll want them next week. But uh, if not, I know that my aquaponic system can comfortably accommodate that many s fish at this size. So I'm not overly stressed about that. But it's one thing to be aware of is that fish grow at different sizes. And um, y you need to accommodate for that. You need to accommodate one, different sizes. Two, how are you wanting to look after your fish and, and do things? So when I got them, they were, as I said, two centimetres that's not going to be enough to power an aquaponic system. Okay, so let's let's be honest there. But fish this size are, are comfortably powering the aquaponic system and I could put more fish in and more plants in because I am good with my balances and I, I don't have the mass capacity in the, in the system yet. When they get big enough, you know, when they're 500 grams each, different story. But at the moment they're, on average, um, I weigh them about 120 grams. But that doesn't count for the real babies and the, the real big ones. So super excited today. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to get very wet, very dirty, very smelly. Well, actually, I won't get smelly. I'll just get wet and dirty. Though the, the tank itself is clean, I'm just going to get covered in water. But, um, you know, I've got the, the, the cat litter actually lives under there to keep it nice and clean. So everything ends up wet because these guys just kick like hell when they're being netted. So that's what's happening. How exciting. And yes, that's one of my eel tails there. I've got two in that tank and they're going to stay in that tank. They get along really well with silver perch. So one of the other things is because silver perch are the schooling fish, they're not um, hugely aggressive. Look, they can be, but they're not hugely aggressive. So they work really well together. So it's just pretty awesome. So we'll stop delaying and we'll get on with it.